Life beckons. Choose wisely. G'day, welcome back to Jez Beer Reviews for 2024. I hope you've had all great Christmas and so we're back with a beer that Swillengrog has sent me from all the way from uh, Western Australia. He had to go there for work and uh, so he kindly uh, posted this back all the way to the East Coast for us to review. So what it is, is the Spawn Draft. As you can see, the cap. Very nice cap. Do you see that on there? A bit of extra. Mm. Hey. Now, Swan Draft has been around for a long time. It says on the actual bio, established in 1857. So Swan Draft these days, it, it's, it's a hard one to follow. They uh, stopped brewing in West Australia. They were brewing out of uh, West End Brewery there in South Australia because these guys got bought out years ago by uh, different corporations, but end up lying Nathan or lying these days, who has two E's and four X and all that. Uh, they own Swan, they own West End. So they're brewing out of uh, West End. I've heard rumours that they, they are brewing some kegs out of the um, little creatures there in Western Australia, because Swan own them as well. But then also the stubbies and bottles are getting brewed down in Tasmania at the Bowers Brewery, which is Bowers is owned by Lion. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit all over the shop there. But uh, anyway, the, the beer is 4.4% uh, ABV. This is a long neck, 750 mil. Let's get it out. The first using a MIDI headmaster. And uh, also, a special guest today, if I didn't say, Doug. Thanks. <laughs> I'm the guinea pig. I wouldn't say the guinea pig. This, this beer's been proven. Most, a lot of West Aussies drink it, so. Right, oh, no. Just the winds has picked up here. We're talking about, could be a bit of a storm. It is summer as well. Also pairing with this is a favorite of ours, uh, the Smith's chicken. Gotta have a chip before you have a, we call them a, uh, a, a potato chip over here, or in, in America they call them a crisp, oh America, sorry, uh, England. But here we just call them chips, which the people find confusing because regular hot chips, but hot chips here are hot chips, so. Australian adjunct lager combined with an Aussie chip, not bad. What are you getting on the aroma there? You didn't smell anything. Mm. Oh, this is. I watched uh, Swimming Grog's video. Here's a snippet of Swimming Grog. Frothy white head, so uh, let's move on to the uh, aroma. All right, well, uh, all I can really say, it's a very uh, typical, you know, Australian uh, macro lager smell. Uh, you know, some. Uh, you know, light sort of breadiness. Uh, yeah, a little bit of grass. Not much uh, else, really. Yeah, a really good amount of head dye I got uh, from that pour. Mm. Yeah, Sul and Grog was talking about, as you can see, he talks about being uh, Australian. It's a straight, like they must use Pride of Ringwood, the Australian hop. That Pride of Ringwood's one of these in the home brew and all that. It's an Australian hop, they all have it. Has its own. Yeah, it's definitely got that aroma. He's gone for the taste. Well, to me, it smells like Australian adjunct lager, so not much imagination detail, but you can, if you had an Australian adjunct lager, you know the aroma. So, cheers. Right, I've been diving. Right, that's pretty rich in flavour. That's pretty sweet. Mm. I mm. initially, pretty uh, sweet flavour. I'm getting. Definitely that kind of uh, prior wrinkled cardboard flavour. I call that a, that flavour to me. I call it a bit cardboardish. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the hop and the bitterness. What are you thinking there? What are you saying? Because you you love your Great Northern. How would you compare it? Uh, yeah, it's got more of that little bit twangy taste to it, I mm, think. Yep. 
Yeah, it's definitely it's richer. It's a what? Uh, it's sweetness. I just know it's the sweetness. Yeah, so what? Like, been a beer drink for about 50 years. It's the first time I've tasted this one. I've been to South Australia and drank some of the stuff over there. Oh, yeah, the West End on tap. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but. Yeah. We'll be West End over yeah. there. Because, um, yeah, you drink um, you drank Tui's for a long time. How long do you drink Tui's for? Tui's new. Well, it used to be Tui's draft when you first started, but Tui's yeah. new. How many years you drank for a long time, didn't you? Mm. 20 years? 30 yeah, more. Years, yeah. 30 years? Mm. Then, yeah, went to the midstream. Well, to me, Tastes Australian. It's got that kind of sweetness. Sweetness, I reckon, has come from, so obviously all Australian beers use cane sugar. Kind of got that residual uh, cane sugar leftover flavour, which I did find in a beer that I brewed recently. It's on tap at home. It's probably just a little bit too sweet, and I, I think it came from the sugar. You know, I'm picking up a little bit in this. I find it a little bit sweeter. Uh, bitterness is on par with a lot of the Australian adjuncts. Drinkable enough. Dave was saying, or Swillengrog was saying, that it was, he had on tap over there. On tap, it seemed a little bit better. It was a bit nicer on tap, like most beers are. So, uh, you could take another thing about that. But it's not too bad. Mm. But, yeah, most beers do show a little bit better quality when they're on the tap. Mm. If you can't it's make it on tap, yeah, if you're not going to make it on tap, you won't make it here. No, no. No. So I wouldn't say it's something uh, I'm not really surprised by. It. It's just pretty much middle of the road for me for an Australian adjunct lager. I'm happy to say it's a good beer. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, Sessionability, yeah. you can yeah. session. And if it's on tap, you can session over there, especially yeah. if you're over in Western Australia where it's pretty much a desert, especially up north and that. It's pretty darn hot, very highly sessionable. Um, but, yeah, I'd say a grading for me. I, with my gradings, I go outstanding, excellent and good and a few blower ones, um, satisfactory. But I'd say it's a good beer. Uh, definitely does the job. And you reckon good too? Yeah, Still yeah, good? yeah, it's all right, yeah, good, yeah. All right, uh. yeah. Yep. All right, so it's a good from us. Big thanks to Swillagrog for sending this beer all the way over to us, where I really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll keep uh, sipping away and finishing our Smith's chicken chips. And uh, till the next video, we'll see you in the next one. Take care all.